Hi! In this chapter, we will configure Palo Alto Management Interface through Graphical User Interface and CLI as well. We also discuss about Network Services and Administrative Management Services for Management Interface. Palo Alto Network's next-generation firewalls can be accessed by either an out-of-band management port labeled as NGT or a serial console port. By using the NGT port, we can separate the management functions of the firewall from the data processing functions. All initial configurations must be performed either on out-of-band management interface or by using a serial console port. If you are using Palo Alto Firewall in virtual environment, then initial configuration can be done through VM console. To access the Palo Alto Network's firewall for the first time through the MGT port, we need to connect a laptop to the NGT port using a straight-through Ethernet cable. Here I am using Palo Alto in virtual environment. So let's move to configure Palo Alto management through CLI access. So log in with your username and password to access Palo Alto. It will ask to change your password if you are logged in first time. Let's change your default password and move forward. Before configuring management IP manually, we will check if any IP is configured on management interface. We can check with show, interface, management command. Palo Alto by default use DHCP for management interface that's because of this an IP is already assigned on Palo Alto management interface. On next step we manually configure management interface with static IP and DNS. We can modify the device configuration from the CLI using the set, delete, and edit commands, but in most cases we have to be in configure mode to modify the configuration. So we first move in configuration mode with the help of configure command. OK now you can see that we have set up a new IP on management interface which is 192.168.1.50. Now we will configure primary DNS server and secondary DNS server with the help of set command. Now we have to apply the configuration on device with the help of commit command. Any change in the Palo Alto firewall device configuration is first written to the candidate configuration. The change only takes effect on the device when you commit it. Committing a configuration applies the change to the running configuration, which is the configuration that the device actively uses. As a best practice, validate configuration changes prior to committing so that you can fix any errors that will cause a commit failure, thereby ensuring that the commit will succeed. You can validate the configuration with validate command. We will discuss validate configuration later in this chapter. You can see that configuration committed successfully. Now we will use a web browser to access Palo Alto Firewall with new management IP.
Before move forward, we will ensure that new IP is configured on management interface with the help of show interface management command. You can see that new management IP is 192.168.1.50. Launch an internet browser and enter the IP address of the firewall in the URL field. Ensure to use HTTPS instead of HTTP. By default, the management interface allows only HTTPS access to the web interface. The Dashboard tab widgets show general firewall information such as the device name, management IP address, submit mask used, default gateway, serial number of device, CPU ID, resource utilization, config logs, system logs, and logged in admins. All of the available widgets are displayed by default, but each administrator can remove and add individual widgets as needed. Here you can see that two management sessions are exist on the device. One is CLI access and another is web access. Now we will configure Palo Alto management interface graphically. So now navigate to device tab to configure management interface. In device tab click on setup option. Under setup option click on interfaces option. Click on Management Interface, Settings to Edit Management Interface. Under Management Interface Settings, you can change Management IP, Submit Mask and Default Gateway. You can also change the MTU and Speed setting for Management Interface. We can also enable and disable various management services on Management Interface. By default ping, SSH and HTTPS are allowed as management services on Palo Alto Management Interface. On same page we can restrict management access by applying access control list. Let's try to change management interface IP to 192.168.1.100. Keep in mind that changes are only enforced once you commit the changes. Here are two options to commit the changes. If you are the only administrator to managing the firewall then you can use commit all changes else you can commit changes made by you. Multiple users can be work on same firewall, so you have to ensure that you commit changes done by you only. Before commit the changes, we can validate the changes with the help of validate commit option. This option help us to ensure that commit will succeed without any issue. So first we will validate the changes and then commit the changes on Palo Alto firewall. Now you can access Palo Alto Firewall with new management IP address because commit is completed successfully. So let's try to access Palo Alto with new management IP. Now in this chapter we will disable ping access to management interface. So again navigate to management interface setting and then uncheck the ping option.
Don't try to disable SSH and HTTPS if you are working remotely as you may lost access to device. Now again we have to use commit option to apply changes on device. Here you can see that we are unable to ping management IP, but we still able to access Palo Alto through SSH and GUI. You can re-enable ping access through management interface settings. In next chapter, we will create new local user account to manage Palo Alto firewall and will configure general settings such as login banner, hostname. We also discuss all option under setup section.